Good morning everyone. As you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 5, the 14 series model. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to attempt to repair any sort of liquid damage laptop. Okay, so the idea might be it's not going to work for your one, but it's worth it to give it a try. Because when liquid damage the actual laptop and stuff, it depends how much liquid, where it went through, and everything. Based on that, we can try the repair attempt. So, example, this uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 15 had some water spillage through the keyboard and sideway, and then it completely stopped working. We don't know uh, how much damage in there. So, first of all, what you need to do, regardless any model, you need to open it up pull out the motherboard, everything, and make an assessment to find out if there is any spot that you can identify which part has damage from the actual liquid. That could be water, that could be tea, coffee, juice, uh, soda water, anything, you know. And then based on that, we're going we're gonna to take some steps. But you need a few tools, you need a few steps to uh, get it done. So very important one is 99.99% rubbing alcohol. That is the most important. You need some sort of soft brushes and uh, keep WD-40 as well. Uh, if you do have, that also does help. And pretty much that's all, okay. But remember, if you need to replace any sort of uh, chip or any sort of uh, MOSFET or anything, that idea would not help. Okay, because sometimes uh, liquid damage are kind of, let's say, it doesn't damage too much. It's kind of uh, corrosion, kind of little blockage and stuff like that. Once you clean it properly, that should work. Anyway, the machine already opened. And this is the back cover. I can't see any spot on the back cover. And now uh, I'm going to pull out every single component from right here. First of all, I'm going to disconnect the battery and then one by one, uh, like a puzzle, I will take out. So as I said, it depends on your machine. If you don't know how to open up every single thing, search a video on YouTube. You're going to find it definitely. All right. So let's open the motherboard and get into the repair. So we managed to pull out the motherboard. Now we're going to check one by one the trackpad, charging port, charging port connectors and everything. If you can spot out any liquid damage sign. Okay. So that's the actual board. And I'm going to check one by one from left to right. I don't see nothing absolutely. Okay. That's all fine. All right. And also at the back, I don't see any sign of liquid. Check all the connectors. Okay, so nowadays most of the laptop does have a power button on the keyboard. That could be another worse reason why it doesn't turn on. Here you go. I can see on the power button connector uh, some sort of stain on there. That is definitely from the liquid. All right, now 
we're going to check if we find anywhere else. All right, here also I can see. Yes, here you go. All the connectors, I can see those have the heavy stain. Okay. So what are you going to do now? Okay, on the trackpad as well, as you can see, there is a little spot. Especially any sort of liquid, when it uh, get to the motherboard, you can see kind of white, like calcium oxide. You know and now let's check the flex I can see on the flex there are a lot of mark the black and white mark so what are you gonna do now we're gonna focus to clean those all right so I'm gonna take some sort of earbuds and motherboard cleaning liquid which is 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol I'm gonna clean it through first uh, we are very lucky because we don't see that much damage on the boat but Cleaning a flex, flex is worse than the cleaning a mother boat Because the flex is very fine and you can put too much pressures on there because there are a lot of cables going through But still I'm going to use these sort of cotton buds more of them as you can see the cotton bud turns into black because of the carbon and we're going to take a soft brush that could be an old toothbrush or something like that or paint brush I'm going to rub it one by one and then we'll put it back and check and then we have to clean the actual uh, connector as well because connector also does have same sort of liquid uh, damage sign And after that, we'll plug in the charger before there is no indication of charging or let's say power. None of them. When we connected the charger, we didn't see any light. Even when we pressed the power button, nothing did happen. It was solely dead. Now I'm going to clean this trackpad. So those are just an example. You know, your one could be worse than that. And then you have to uh, follow the same procedure. Don't rub it too hard. Don't put any other liquid, only use 99.99% rubbing alcohol. You can get it from Amazon or you can get it from eBay. You know, don't try any other liquid. Okay. So the cleaning has done. Now we're going to put it back, assemble the laptop and check if you're lucky. And what you could do if you do have any sort of hair dryer, you can blow some oh, hot hair to dry it properly. If there is any sort of, you know, kind of wet environment, you can just dry it up and put it together and check.
So now we're going to check if there is any changes, anything. Sometimes you need a couple of attempt. Sometimes it does power up, but could have many issues like, let's say, Wi-Fi signal or keyboard or screen issue. Could be many. And if you're lucky, it could be nothing, you know. So I can see the charging light it shows. And yeah, here you go. And I can see it's starting up without any issues. After we've done that, we need to check if the keyboard is functional because the liquid went through the keyboard. The more chance not to work. I don't know the password because of this is customers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the random buttons to see if it comes up. I can see it's fine. It doesn't double click or anything. So it's success. Please subscribe to this channel if you do like this video and thanks for watching.